So hello, Grandma DC, and I'm back. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, do some bacon jerky. It's just going to be a brief overview because there's lots of how-tos with beautiful filmography where people have other people to help them film. <laughs> but uh, I was telling Pam about it, and I said the trick is to um, get thick bacon. I only had thin, so I doubled it up. It works. And to not dehydrate it too long, otherwise it gets crispy and you just end up with bacon powder, which is not bad, actually. So I have a piece here that I overcooked, and I just put a little brown sugar erythritol on it. You know, I like sweet with my meat, but a lot of people don't. If you don't, leave it off. Some people like to put hot pepper on their uh, bacon or black pepper. You can do whatever you want. The erythritol is not overly sweet, in my opinion. There are people that think it is, so put whatever flavor you want on your bacon or leave it plain and dehydrate it. It lasts forever and it's great for snacking, which is what I'm doing right now. Hello, Grandma DC here. Hair is messed up again. <laughs> and I, uh, I was making bacon jerky and I know that Pam asked me to show her how I did this. I said there's so many different ways, look them up on YouTube. But I did just make a mistake. I thought I'd share that with you. I put uh, my bacon in the oven at 350 for uh, 15 minutes. Thought, well, that's not long enough. It, this is perfect looking. But the one on the bottom is perfect for just eating. It got too crispy, and you can tell my oven doesn't cook evenly. So this bacon we'll probably just use for eating. This we're going to turn into jerky. It's done, but it's limpy. Take it now and squeeze as much oil out of it as I can. So just put it on there and roll this up and squeeze as much grease out as you can. I usually put several strips and then just roll this up, but that was just to show y'all. And once we squeeze the grease out of this as much as we could, I'm going to take and I'm going to dip it on one side in a little brown erythritol before putting it back on one of the dehydrator trays. And I'm going to double these up because I have not got thick bacon. It works best with thick bacon. Doing this one-handed is not the greatest. I'm going to dip that one a little bit and then put it right side down on top of the other one. So I'm going to make it a thick piece of bacon. Well, I think I can straighten that up as soon as I get two flanges to work with here. <laughs> but you get the idea. I'm going to put these in the dehydrator on high for one hour. We'll take them back out at that time. Squeeze them again. That'll also squeeze out some of the erythritol. And then we will put them back in for another two hours. So I'd say on high, four hours at most, especially if you double up the bacon. Um, I prefer to use thick sliced bacon, but since I didn't have thick, I just doubled up this. And I threw some of that burnt in there just to let it dry and get some of the grease out of it too. All right, wait back in an hour to squeeze it, and we'll put it back in for about two and a half more hours. So, 10 months, next month is 10 months on the carnivore diet. All right, I went from 390, or 298, 390, I've been there, 298 to 240, and hung. I'm not okay. It's winter, we went through the holiday, I had a week cheat while I was um, at Christmas, just ate whatever I wanted. It was heavenly. Back to the sad old American diet with nothing but chemicals. And that's what we're used to eating, right? Preservatives, chemicals, tasty things. <laughs> and I will say that I went back to carnivore, basically. And I know some of you made comments, and it's like, well, the reason you're not losing weight is you're eating too many chaffles, which is eggs, cheese, and pork rinds. Zero carb with butter and a little bit of sugar-free syrup on it, which amounts to about three to four carbs, you know, for so many tablespoons. And I figure that everything has carbs, and they say on the keto diet, try to keep it below 50. I've always tried to stay below 20 in a day, but even staying below 20 carbs, uh, just eating a little bit of uh, sugar-free creamer, which has some carbs in it, or maybe I buy cheese that's pre-cut up, which is coated and has some carbs in it. 
even that will stop me from losing weight. Uh, it's weird. I don't know why. Uh, when I first started low carb, I lost like mad. It was like my body just went nuts and weight was just falling off. But then I hit this plat they call it plateau. Cat. Cats. Betsy, it's the cat. We know it's the cat. And, and uh, then just suddenly it stopped working. And then I took the week off thinking I would carb up during Christmas and maybe it would start working again, but it hasn't. And that's okay. One of the things that I did for a while, and I can't say I did it consistently, but I did was uh, OMAD, one meal a day. And then I didn't eat for the rest of the day, like out of a 24-hour period. I, I had a window of noon to 7 or 11 a.m. to 6 or 7 at night. And I know I talked to this one doctor and he said that for older women that it's timing. It's not what you eat or how many carbs you eat, it's timing. And I think he might be right. Because I have been eating out of my window. I have not started eating till noon, but I have been known to have a snack of like a bacon or something at around 9.30 or 10 at night and I usually stay up till midnight watching movies or something. So, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm exploring this body. Next month will be the 10th month, and I only have two more months. I think it's the 10th. It sure seems longer. Like, you want to call it the 11th, and then we'll just say I only have two more months to go? <laughs> I said I was going to do this for a year, and I'm doing it for a year. It has helped so much with the arthritis pain that it's incredible. The, the pain relief is just amazing. And for that alone. But I really, really just so like I walked down the lane today and got my mail. And I'm looking for those eggs to come in the mail, those two hatching eggs. And it's uh, they said they're mailed. And for the next couple of days, we're supposed to be above freezing. So I'm hoping the post office keeps those eggs in a temperature that is above freezing <laughs> so I can get those babies here. Unfortunately, it said they might arrive Friday. And Friday, I'm taking off to go see the grandkids at Columbia. So I may have to have Mom come over and check my mail and keep those babies at room temperature. At least we hope there's babies going to be in there. We'll have to find out. Well, it's going to be exciting. I'm really excited about two eggs that are fertilized coming in my mail. <laughs> I love B. Felders, But I have to say, the last time I tried to hatch them, I only got Romeo and uh, whatever her name was, Juliet. Oh, why couldn't I remember that? Romeo and Juliet out of a dozen that I purchased. So uh, I don't think we have much of a chance with just two, but we'll try. Well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know how the carnivore diet was working and or not working. I mean, it, it, it's a 50-50. It works for pain, but the weight loss has stopped. Then again, I should go to OMAD, but I don't want to. Oh, there you go. That's the bottom line. I don't want to eat just once a day. I'm bored out of my mind. It's winter. I'm stuck in the house. And there's snow on the ground. <laughs> and we are just enjoying going through and looking at puppies online, aren't we, Scott? Scud says, I like looking at other puppies online, especially the girls. Hmm? Oh, you're such a guy. <laughs> He's my boy. So we're going to go try to find another movie. We're down to the D movies. We went past the A, B, and now we're down to the D. I think we skipped over C movies. <laughs> it's getting pretty dicey out there. There's just not a whole lot to watch, is there? May have to go to horror flicks next. I was saving that for last. <laughs> you guys, talk to you later. Just a short one. I love you all. Keep on doing what you're doing, and I hope whatever you're doing, it's working for you. I needed to add something before I upload this video. I was just going to upload this video and I went out to the mail and I've got a card. Thank you so much for the birthday card, Robin, and the birthday present. I appreciate that so much. Don't we, Scud's good? I don't know why he always has to get behind my head and look out the window at the birds. <laughs> Alright, well, I also wanted to mention, if I forgot, that I haven't heard back from the doctor yet. This is typical military doctors. You know, we'll call you. And it's been about three weeks now. And I haven't heard a thing about all those tests I supposedly had done. So, uh, 
we'll just keep waiting and if it goes another week and I still haven't heard I will call although mother says no news is good news so uh, I guess my cholesterol is fine and everything else but I will give it another week because I'm kind of busy this weekend I'll be celebrating my granddaughter's birthday as well as my own and my daughter's. We're all born around the same time. Thank you so much, Robin. Bye-bye, guys.